Hiya and welcome to another tutorial. So we're going to be looking at Adobe Spark and this is um, a software which is free. It's online. Um, it can be used on you know, MacBooks, Chromebooks, um, any computer really. So it is something that can be done if you're isolating or if you're in school, nice and easy. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a flyer or a invite of some kind. So they give you some templates, but we don't want to use any of them because we want to have created ourselves and show obviously our own skills. So we can have photos in two different ways. There is a stock of photos that uh, are embedded within Adobe, or you could upload a photo yourself. So I went to the internet earlier and I just grabbed a photo to try and save us a bit of time. So you can just take a photo. You've got one on your computer if you want to get one online and save it and just put it on your device. Okay, so the other way is if we can have a look at the stock that they've got and you can search for keywords. I'm going to do a Christmas party. And then you can look and scale your picture as you want. Rotate it, so if I wanted it slightly bigger on my page, I could do so. You can change the order of the layers by putting in different parts up and back, so that allows us to have a bit more of a, a Christmassy whole page. So I've used one from the internet and one from the stock. Okay, so what other options we got? We can add some text. Well, we're going to need some information about where the party is and when. The ones with the yellow on them, you uh, unless you pay, uh, that you can't use them. But you can do lots with the text that we've got uh, uh, anyway. So, so it's going to be in the scouter. It's going to be the 17th of December. Now, so I've just put a bit of text. So I've got a date and I've got a place. Right, so what can we do with it? Now, you can change the colours. You see this eyedropper. So you can click on it and you can hover over different colours and it will allow you to mimic those colours, which is a nice little tool. You can change the font style. And you can just have a look through, see what you just uh, fancy. You can center a line. You can also do lots of other effects. So you could have like a triplet effect, drop cap. It's up to you what you decide to have. And you can change the spacing. I quite like just the original. You can put a shadow, so again, I can hover over, change the colours, make it larger. You can also do an outline, so you can see my outline. And I'll make it larger. Okay, so we've added a bit of text. You've been able to add different effects to it. Okay, so we've added some text. We've added some effects. What other things can we do? We've changed the layers. We've added in different parts. Okay, so here we've got some icons. So if you wanted to put on, for example, a Christmas tree, you just search for Christmas, and double click. And it will put on, let's put on two. So we get an icon, design assets. All right, so you've got lots of different effects that you can put on your page. Backgrounds, again, you can search for a stock background, uh, Christmasy background or whatever you want. You could add your own logo. 
and you can create your own library if you want to. So once you're happy, now I am going to add some more detail on, but I won't do that with you. Uh, I'll pause at that point. Okay, you can add an animation. So, for example, you could have an animated um, invite that you could send to people. You've got that it could flicker. You could have a typewriter effect. Lots of different effects that you can use. And you've got your grow and shrink. So you can decide what type of animation you want. When you are then happy, you can then either download your invite or click share. Okay, so if you click share, you'd need to publish. And it will give you a link. Okay. Right, once you're happy and it's created your link, you will then get a URL, a link that you can then send to people or download.